Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to be looking at this product from Gelsey today. They sent me a PR kit. So we're gonna go ahead and go through what was included in my PR kit. And then I will show you how to apply the Brunel product from start to finish. That way you guys can see if you're interested in that. If you are, I will put all their information in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and look at what they gave me. So first thing, they gave me this little card inside the actual package. So I'll just put that on there. This did come with a little bit of a code here. So if you guys are interested in that, that's there for you. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. This is their light. And first I must say, I really like their packaging. This is really cute. So here we have the light, it opens up, LED, and then you have your little plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that off to the side. I do like the color of this. And they also included some nail stickers. Those are really pretty. I probably won't be using these today, but they did include them, so. And then I also got their glaze top gel. So this is a UV LED gel polish, so you will need to use the lamp to cure that. So that's what the packaging looks like on that. And then I did go ahead and open this up so it'd be easier. So this was the package of gels that they sent me. And these are gel stickers. So included in this package, there is a little file that's in the shape of a donut, which again is super cute, a little buffer. And then they give you an orange wood stick. They give you some instructions. And then looks like we have two sets of gels here. So one is a strawberry milkshake and then the other one is berry. Let's take a look at those. So this one is the berry here. Oh, that's a really pretty design. I wasn't sure what to expect. Let me put that against a white background so you can see it better. So I will definitely be using that one. And then the strawberry milkshake is just a solid pink so those go really well together so i think for today's video i'm going to be using the berry and i will save the strawberry milkshake for another time if you guys would like to see another video where i apply these to my natural nails let me know and i can definitely use the strawberry milkshake for that and maybe we can use some of those stickers that they included so i'm going to go ahead and pull these out now these are light sensitive so you want to make sure when you're not using them that you put them back into their foil I'm going to go ahead and gather up my supplies and then I'll meet you guys right back. So with any nail service you're doing, whether you're doing the gel stickers or adding extensions like I'm going to be in a minute, you always want to push back your cuticle. Make sure that you don't have any skin buildup around there. And then you just want to rough up the surface a little bit with your buffer. And this is just going to ensure that the product sticks really well to your nail. So I'm just going to do that to all of my nails. Once you're done with that, just go ahead and clean off the surface of the nail with some isopropyl alcohol. You can alternatively use 100% acetone. And that's just going to make sure that there's no dust, debris, or oils on your nails. At this point, I also like to go in with some dehydrator and primer. This is optional, but I do find that my nails last longer. But you want to start with your dehydrator if you're going to do this step. Next, go in with your primer. So for my nail extensions today, I'm going to be using Sport Length and I'm going to be using the 123 Go from E-Nail Couture. Again, I'll have that link down below. So to, in order to apply those, I'm going to be using the 6-in-1 Nail Glue. It's a nail gel from Born Pretty. But the first thing I want to do is apply a thin, even coat of that on my nails, and then I'm going to cure that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. Next, I'm going to be flash curing my nails in place, and I'm going to be using this lamp here. This is just a little LED lamp. You could also use the little lamp that they gave you in the kit if you purchase that. That would also work. This one just happens to click on my desk here just to make it a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. If you're hard on your nails, you may want to scuff up the inside of these nail extensions just to make sure that it grabs on pretty good. I don't usually have that issue, so I just skip that step. But again, if you're harder on your nails than I am, you may want to do that. So I'm just going to take my gel. 
I'm going to apply a little bit of that right in the well there where you're, it's going to meet your natural nail. And you don't need a whole lot in there, just a little bit like that. Turn on my light there. And I'm just going to make sure that I line that up so that everything is straight. I'm going to line it up to my cuticle area and I'm going to push towards my free edge. That way that if I have any excess, it will come out there. Once I have that lined up and there's no bubbles, I'm just going to put that right into my light just to do a quick flash cure. At the end of this, I am going to put my hand into my LED lamp to do a full 60 second cure. So that's one finger done. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all the rest of the fingers. Okay, now that I have those flash cured in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my hand into my LED lamp. I'm gonna finish the other hand off camera and then I will meet you guys right back. The next thing that I need to do is remove the shine off of my nails and then just remove the little tab that's here at the end. If you need to do any shaping now, would be a good time to do that as well. So I'm just gonna real quick do that. Once all the filing and shaping is done, just go back in with some isopropyl alcohol and make sure that you clean up that nail surface. You want to make sure that you're free of any dust before you apply these. Now that my nails are totally prepped, I'm going to go ahead and pick out my sizes. So what you want to do is you just want to kind of measure an eyeball. Make sure that that's going to fit side to side on that nail. And this one's going to be too big, so I think I'm this third one here for my thumb. So you just want to kind of tap that down into place. I'm going to go ahead and remove that plastic so it's out of my way. Now if you find that these are a little short, you can grab them and give them a little bit of a pull. You can't adjust them too much, but if you're real close, you can pull it. See how I'm just short right there? So now I have that right to the edge, and I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. You don't want to pull so much that you distort the image itself, but you do want to make sure that you're getting side to side. Now, once you have that in place and you're happy with the fit, you're going to go in with the cuticle stick, and you're just going to go right around the edges and make sure that you push that all the way down firmly. And then I like to just leave this excess here. Some people like to trim it at this point. I like to wait until after it's cured and then I file it. I find that that gives me a much cleaner edge. So once I'm happy with that, you could individually cure these if you like to. I'm going to actually do all of my five fingers and then I'm going to pop it into my light. So I'm just going to repeat this exact same thing for the next nail. I forgot to mention that I also like to fold the excess under just so that it's out of my way. Another way to apply this is to start at the far edge of your nail and then to pull it across your nail until you line it up on the other side. And then again, just like before, you want to make sure that you go all the way around the edge. So once you're happy with that placement, you've made sure that your cuticle area and all of your edges are secure, you're going to go ahead and pop that into your LED or UV lamp for 60 seconds, a minimum of 60 seconds. If you're using a smaller lamp, you may want to do a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my lamp for 60 seconds. Once that's cured completely, I'm just going to go in with my file and I'm going to file downward to get rid of the excess. And you want to make sure that you hit the side walls as well. And at this time, if you need to shape your nail, you can go ahead and do that as well. As far as the free edge, you don't want to file on top of this because you can damage the actual image itself, but the side walls free edge are fine to file right now. 
Now that I've removed the excess, I'm going to go in with my glazed top coat. And you just want to make sure that you cover the entire nail and you get your free edge as well as your sides in order to make this last the longest that it possibly can. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds in my LED UV lamp. I'm gonna repeat the same process to my other hand and then I will meet you guys back for the final reveal. All right, everyone, so here's the final look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. I wanted to say thank you to Jelsey for sending these to me. I appreciate the PR. Again, if you guys are interested in this product, I will have the information down below in the description box as well. These went on perfectly. I didn't have any problems with them whatsoever. They are nice and hard and secure. That top coat is really pretty and shiny. And this nail design is really gorgeous. I really like the way that these came out. I'm happy with all of the products that I tried today. If you guys are interested in a really fast manicure, I think that this might be a product for you. Until next time, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.